Cinema 4D Broadcast, Visualize, and Studio Release 13 feature the new Physical Render Engine, which offers unified sampling as well as accurate 3D depth of field and motion blur. The unified sampling system means the scene is only sampled once when rendering effects like area lights, blurry reflections, and ambient occlusion, reducing the incremental time required to render each effect. While the physical renderer works seamlessly with Cinema 4D's standard globe illumination, it also includes a new indirect illumination mode. This new GI algorithm is incredibly stable in animation. It's very similar to QMC, but renders much faster and with greater accuracy. The depth of field and motion blur in the physical render engine simulate the results from a real camera, so you control these effects primarily within the camera object. The focal length, sensor size, focus distance, and f-stop determine the depth of field, while the shutter speed or shutter angle affect the resulting motion blur. You can choose to simulate either a still camera with ISO and shutter speed or a movie camera with gain and shutter angle. You can optionally enable exposure, which determines the scene brightness based on the camera's aperture, shutter speed, and ISO or gain. You can even apply lens distortion, vignetting, and chromatic aberration and specify a custom diaphragm shape for bokeh effects. When rendering via the physical render engine, you can choose to specify a fixed number of samples per pixel, or use an adaptive sampler that allocates more samples in critical regions for greater efficiency. There's also a progressive sampler that's great for preview renders because it begins displaying results almost immediately and continues to refine the image until you stop the render. Using progressive mode, you can limit the time or number of passes before the renderer stops or moves on to the next frame. Both the physical render and Cinema 4D's standard render engine benefit from more control over anti-aliasing filters. There are new filter types including the popular Mitchell filter, which offers smooth but sharp edges. You can now specify the desired height and width of the anti-aliasing filter, dialing in exactly how sharp the image should appear. An all-new subsurface scattering shader is also available in both render engines within Cinema 4D Broadcast, Visualize, and Studio. This new implementation offers a much greater level of control and much more realistic results. In addition to specifying the absorption surface color, you can also define it via a shader. The mean path length can be adjusted for each of the red, green, and blue components. You can choose which lights contribute to the result, and now the global illumination is also considered in the shading. To help you get up to speed quickly with all these new parameters, the shader offers a selection of presets for common subsurface scattering applications, including marble, skin, milk, and food products. In Cinema 4D Visualize and Studio, there's a new terrain mask shader that applies a gradient based on the altitude or slope of the geometry to which it's applied. You can combine this mask with other Cinema 4D shaders, such as the Fusion and Layer shader, to represent wear on surfaces based on their slope. You can also apply the shader in the alpha channel of a material and use Cinema 4D's material mixing to create things like snow-capped mountains. You can even use this shader within a shader effector to adjust the scaling, visibility, or color of objects cloned from a surface. The MoGraph multi-shader in Cinema 4D Broadcast and Cinema 4D Studio now includes the option to quickly load all the textures within a folder into its shader slots. The shaders themselves can be reordered via new up and down buttons, and individual shaders can be deactivated without removing them from the list, making it much easier to experiment. There are two new modes that allow you to easily create animated photo mosaics. As always, you can define the color of clones based on a texture using the shader effector. Using one of the two average color modes, the shaders are sampled and compared to the clone color so that each clone gets a texture that closely matches the master texture. Each mode samples the images within the multi-shader slightly differently, so you can choose which algorithm offers a nicer result. The brick shader introduced in Release 12 now features a more user-friendly interface in which textures can be used in place of gradients for the primary and alternate color, as well as for the gaps. 
This can make it easy to create more realistic looking brick or plank wood surfaces by tiling actual textures in a very controllable way. You can specify textures for the dirt layer as well and use the rain option to erode or smear the texture in one direction. The Fresnel shader in all editions of Cinema 4D has also been enhanced and now offers an option to specify the Fresnel effect based on the physical index of refraction. A number of presets are included here as well, allowing you to quickly define the index of refraction for various materials. The new watermark post effect can be useful for tagging your renders with your own personal brand or managing test renders within a collaborative workflow. You can overlay a variety of information about the scene and the render process by clicking simple checkboxes and display even more information using keywords that can be easily added to the text via a drop-down. There's a variety of options to control the display of the text and you can choose to overlay an image as well. By default, the watermark will appear directly on top of your rendered image, but if you add a post-effect multi-pass channel, it will be output to a separate pass which you can refer to when necessary, but easily disable to view the complete rendered frame. Once you've finished your rendering, you might want to compare two different animated sequences, and that's now possible within the picture viewer. So now you can see the dramatic difference between the old standard render sequence and one rendered with full depth of field and motion blur using Cinema 4D's new physical render engine.